So get this, out of the blue on Twitter, I received a direct message from someone I thought was Wes Anderson. Imagine my disappointment when I figured out it was just some dude with giant fucking sideburns. And guess what? He asked me to make a video for his channel so you know exactly what I said to him. <laughs> I told him fuck off. So you know, a day passes by and he messaged me out of the blue with an, with an offer that I, I just got to refuse. Help me. As you already know, your boy 8-Bit Brody is out there covering the Ant Olympics, so he's graciously, and I use that term very loosely, offered me the chance to make a video for his channel. And so I decided I am going to do something that no one has ever done before and make an 8-Bit Brody video. What does that mean? The fuck do I know? It's, I haven't seen one of his fucking videos in my life, so you know, the first thing I think we should start off is uh, taking a look at his videos. Nice. Well, that was certainly a deep dive. The one thing that I think we can all take away from just taking that single look at his videos is that his videos are literally probably kind of most likely a uh, literal trash. I don't know. I didn't fucking watch any of them. But I know what you are saying. You're saying you hate him. If 8-Bit Brody's videos are literal trash, how are you going to make it? Because everything you've ever done is literal gold. Solid gold. The shit that the one-eyed dog in Island of the Gold Monkey would have fucking went and jumped in a fucking plane and flew around whatever Caribbean islands there were to go. So I don't know. I don't really understand where I was going with that analogy. But anyways, everything I touched is gold. Whether it was me dressing up as uh, Adolf Hitler and going to Best Buy. Me dressing up as Laura Croft and moaning in public. Uh... Me, uh, getting punched in the face by interviewing people. This isn't about me, this is about 8-Bit Brody and making a video, and since obviously I don't know how to do that, I decided at this very second right now that I'm one of the best actors to ever do it, so just like most of the greatest actors, I gotta get into method acting, which means I'm gonna learn to make a trash video by spending the whole day as literal trash. Hey, you guys mind if I go in the trash? See what they're doing here? They make the entrance too small for me to join my people. Ableist. And Hayden Chapman is literal trash. Ladies and gentlemen, the Oscar for Best Actor goes to Kid Creole. Okay. Oh. All right, I admit it. Maybe making literal trash is a little bit more difficult than I originally imagined, but th th that's when I realized that I'm dumb, that I'm stupid, that, that I'm a fucking idiot because I don't know how I missed this in the first place. Making literal trash is hard. Which is why 8-Bit Brody, he doesn't even make trash. Because he doesn't even make videos. He's been at the Ant Olympics covering it for like, I don't know, like six years at this point. And all he's been doing is getting other people to make his videos. And that's when I realized that I need to embody 8-Bit Brody to the T to make an 8-Bit Brody style video. Which means I'm gonna get one of my friends to make a video for me so I can give it to 8-Bit Brody so he can release it to you guys. Hey Kevin, I got a quick little idea for you. No. Oh well, shit. <laughs> That's literally the only guy I know in real life, so I'm out of options here. Maybe the real secret power for 8-Bit Brody is his ability to make friends. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here with that. We all know the only reason we associate with him is because of those beautiful, sexy sideburns. I mean, come on. Good luck at the Ant Olympics, 8-Bit Brody. You're gonna need it. What the fuck?
fuck is this?